This is Sky News Live from Westminster, where tonight the Prime Minister is standing firm after one of her most difficult days in power. Resignations, resentment and drama on Downing Street fail to force Theresa May to change course on her Brexit plan. I believe that this is a deal which does deliver that, which is in the national interest. And am I going to see this through? Yes. Huge blows to her leadership as the Brexit Secretary and Work and Pensions Secretary both quit over the pullout proposal. I don't think it will be good for the long-term health of the country, economically or, or democratically, to accept this deal. And I think in good conscience I couldn't be the Brexit Secretary to take it across the line. The Brexiteers move to build the momentum required to unseat the leader and bring in a fresh face to end the fight. You've got Boris Johnson and David Davis, and you've got Dominic Raab and Esther McVeigh, you've got Penny Morden. You have streams of talent within the Conservative Party uh, who would be very capable of, support, of leading a proper Brexit. As the pound plummets and the pressure soars, we get the view of the nation on Britain's Brexit future. And at 9.30, a special Sky News report on warnings about the dangers posed by a no-deal crash-out. Well, hello and good evening. This is Sky News Live from Westminster on the day a Prime Minister under intense Brexit pressure refused to back down. In the face of resignations, rebellions and a threat to her future as leader, Theresa May vowed to see her pull-out proposal through as she fought to survive one of her darkest days in power. This morning, Downing Street was dominated by drama. The Brexit secretary quit, then the Work and Pensions secretary followed, all as the PM prepared for a House of Commons bruising over her controversial draft text. Right now, her future hangs in the balance amid speculation that momentum is building behind a no-confidence vote against her. Well, coming up, we'll have reaction from the continent with our Europe correspondent, Mark Stone. Our economics editor, Ed Conway, has the story of the plummeting pound. And our business correspondent, Adam Parsons, examines the possible impact of a no-deal pullout. But first, Sky's deputy political editor, Beth Rigby, assesses the threat to Theresa May's position. Theresa May already 